What's going on guys? How you doing out there? How you living your life? Let's take a look at you. You are looking good. You're looking healthy. I hope everything's going great in your world. We're back with a first listen and guess what Mike? We're going down under for this one. At least I think so. I'll be absolutely ashamed if I'm, if, if, I, if I'm not correct here. But I've never heard this band, but I believe they are from Australia. I think that I saw that. They are car, called Mortal Sin. And they are old school, old school heavy metal from back in the olden timey days. And you see that image right there. You got some shadowy figures with knives and guns and the little child over in the corner going, hey, hey. Uh, the song we're doing today is I Am Immortal. So if the child in the corner there, why are they so scared of the guns and stuff? If you're immortal, wouldn't you just be going, yeah, whatever. You can shake all the scissors and knives and everything at me you want, but uh, it's going to do you no good. I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, this is one of those fine, uh, fine nuggets. It's a diamond uh, because they have a very small following on Spotify. And uh, we're getting in that group today. And hopefully they're good. Uh, Mortal Sin, they have 800 or 8,715 monthly listeners to their Spotify. The top five songs, I Am Immortal with 177,000 plays. Uh, Lebanon, Lebanon with 80,000 plays. Women in Leather, who doesn't like that? Uh, 57,594 plays on that. Voyage of the Disturbed, 55,000 plays. And the number five track is Blood, Death, Hatred. And that's 42,220 plays. Let's look at albums. I'm seeing stuff as recently as 2011 that these boys have been doing. They, uh, they, may, have, they, have, got, they may have gotten back together. Um, okay, so this the song we're doing is from the second album that came out. Uh, their first album was Mayhemic Destruction, 1986. Face of Despair is the album we're doing, the song from the album we're doing, 1987. Then there's a 10-year gap, and they put Revolution of the Mind in 1997. And then there's another gap, uh, 2009's An Absence of Faith. And then a few years later, Psychology of Death, 2011. And Into the Inferno, Live in Oslo. Huh, I, I might have to check that out. See what this live stuff's all about. And you're not going to believe the list of bands. I'm telling you, we've got to get into some of these things because they just keep popping up. And it's like they're calling out. Toxic. Whiplash. Hyrax. Violence. Artillery. Laws Rocket. Evil Dead. Dark Angel. Heathen. Love me some old school heathen. Razor, we've done Razor on the uh, first listens. Agent Steel, Paul O wanted some Agent Steel, and that's what he got. Fueled by Fire, so that is the related artist for this band. Let's get into the bio. I'm going to see if I can't scrounge up a picture of them because there is no picture of them. Um, Mortal Sin were one of the first Australian thrash metal bands to achieve widespread recognition outside of the land down under. Inspired by genre's earliest champions, especially Metallica and Anthrax, vocalist Matt Maurer, guitarist Paul Carwana, and Steve Kristen, bass, Andy Effitieu, and drummer Wayne Campbell caused quite a stir with their excellent 1987 debut, Mayhemic Destruction. Considered a minor thrash classic. Shit! Uh, so irritating when my phone does that. Um, considered a minor thrash classic in its time, the album even had Mighty Kerrang! magazine touting them as the next big thing. But their 1989 follow-up, Face of Despair, Released by major label Polygram and inter introducing new guitarist Mick Burke, uh, supplanting Kristen, fell somewhat short of expectation. Its superior production values were incapable of masking the, mo the mostly lackluster songwriting within, uh, within. In retrospect, it's clear that creative stagnation had already set in, and despite, oh, I don't like the way this is going, and despite opening for Metallica Aussie's to Aussie tour, 
later that year and touring with Testament and Faith No More across Europe in 1990, the band's warring factions wound up splintering. Well, damn. Well, you know what? You can say all that, all the shit that you want right there, but the number one track, they're saying that, that uh, uh, Face of Despair was a not a good uh, uh, jam. But what I would say is, I'm sorry if I sound so juicy. I, I just, I'm just very frothy today. But the number one track that they have on here is I Am Immortal from the album Face of Despair. So... We'll take it with a grain of salt and we'll see what we've got here. This is the nipple. This is this is the earwig that's going to take you to Delight Town, hopefully. Uh, so without further ado, volume up. Please don't chime in with no text messaging or bullshit. And here we go. Taste for you, then we do this. Here we go. Uh-huh, yeah, bass. Love it. Right symbol. Got that Calipria. Ooh. Ha! Tricky in there, aren't they? A little tricky. I gotta go back and listen to that first album and see what all the hub bugs are about. They did a lot of that. A lot of bands did that. They gotta get back to that other riff so they do that. I am a macho. Kind of a weird change then. A little bit of that Kirk Hammett in there. A 
なったよね。Gotta hold down the fort as the rhythm guitar player while these showboats go for it. All the girls are over there grabbing their lights. Oh, you're so good. Yeah, you have to kind of twist and get back to that "I Am a Mortal" riff. A lot of changes in this song, huh? A lot of time changes. Oh, I thought they'd give us another "Ah, I Am a Mortal." Ah, what's this? This has an ethereal creepness to it. Lebanon. Okay, that's from. Let's take a peeksy doodle. I believe this is going to turn this off. <sighs> okay, you know what? I've had enough of it. Where's the. Turn it off. Yes. Lebanon, that is from the first album. I will have to go and investigate more of Mortal Sin, but what say you? That's the most important part here is what you put down in the comments below. Good, great, fantastic, wonderful. Yeah, pretty solid stuff. Or, nah, not my cup of tea. Sorry, bro. Out. Crapperoni. Wannabes. Why don't they throw another shrimp on the Barbie? You know, you, you, you get the idea. You, you put your opinions of that song and the band and any fun information and fun nuggets that you would like below. I didn't mind it. I thought that was just fine. That's all I've got. Like, comment, subscribe, be my friend. Please check out my links below. If you have a special request that is heavy metal or hard rock, you can go to that link, donate a few dollars, and wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Say, Shane, I got a first listen for you. Here's a metal band you've never heard of, and give it a taste. And that's exactly what we'll do right here. Uh, that's all I've got. Kisses and bye-byes.